Okay, well, let's keep going through stage five here. Uh, you got like grass seaweed kind of stuff moving in the background. Holy fuck, what is that? Oh god, it just shot out a demon. Oh no, it's a bird and it dropped it. Okay. I forgot, I completely forgot about these guys. That was some scary shit. If you whip them though, they, they die as one, so that's pretty helpful. See, now I'm being lulled into a false sense of security because no more have spawned. Okay, so... I'm gonna go this way even though I, generally I, I don't think I have to. But there's pretty much no reason for me not to. That enemy that was here disappeared. Oh, I guess this is the way I was supposed to go. God damn those bird things. Okay, so just keep moving. Um, this stage has like only 120 seconds as of now. I didn't check to see what it was before, but that might signal that this is supposed to be a shorter stage. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going this way. Uh, generally, generally, let's keep in mind, it's a generalization. It is uh, the idea that you're moving from left to right, fuck, I got the knife. The reason I and other people do not like the knife is that it is weak and it travels straight. Yes, you can throw them quickly and it will travel straight. Oh shit. Okay, well, that little toad thing is fucking chasing me! Okay, I got out of it. Yeah, this must be a short stage. This is where time starts to play in. I only have like 70 seconds. So, I kinda gotta move. Oh, I got another life, though. I got enough points for another life, so that's good. Um, but yeah, the knife is considered one of the worst sub-weapons. And generally, you don't carry it. Yes, you can do some good things with it, because you can spam them. They only cost one heart, and you can just tear through them and just keep chucking them. But even still, not the best sub-weapon to have, and I bet you for this boss fight, it's going to be terrible. Um... As I'm now heading into the castle. Yep, shit just got real. Uh, there was no boss for that stage, I guess. There is one for this one, though. And I'm gonna bet it's gonna be really hard to get to. We can, however, now that we're in the castle. We've, we've gotten kind of, like, through part of the game. Fucking dogs. Um... We are now in the castle, which is like a transition, because before we were outside the castle moving towards it. That was just, that was just getting to the castle, what we did. Um, excuse me. My throat just like died all of a sudden. I'm getting teary-eyed, and that's really not good for this kind of playing. Um, fuck, dogs, stay away. Um, so, as I was saying, uh, now we're in the castle, so the rest of the, the stages will be the castle, essentially. Um, and you finally get Axe Knights, and ow, that fucking hurt. There was no need to get hit by that, because you can get rid of their projectile. Um, ow, fucking bats! Gotta yeah, be careful because of them bats. Um, I'm gonna go back for this, even though I... Oh, it's actually holy water, so that's good. Uh, good thing the enemies didn't respawn there. Oh fuck, that, that was stupid. I'm taking stupid damage now. It's like, a, it's like every multiple of three stage I just get destroyed on. Uh, there we go. So you just want to keep whipping your way through. It's, it's, it's not that bad. Not that bad as of now. As you can see, there's a lot of time, which means our stage is going to be a little bit longer. Oh fuck! What the hell was that game? That's cheap. That's going to, yeah, generally the first candle is going to be a whip upgrade, just because the game recognizes you need that whip upgrade. Oh, fuck, Jason's catching up to me. These guys are, I think they're supposed to be zombies, but they look a lot like Jason, so just be lazy and call them Jason. Two dogs at once. Two dogs, one whip. You could even say if you wanted to be weird. Uh, there we go, get the second whip upgrade. And, um, shit, I was trying to stay on the upper platforms, but now that I got that holy water, I'm just going to stay on the lower, I'm just going to go down and pick this stuff up. 
Um, points do dictate lives. Fuck, that should not have happened. Oh man, this is this is uh, falling apart at the seams here. And I need some health. I don't think I'm gonna get it though. I'm just trying to make it past this area because if I can get to the next screen and get like across that screen, I think I'll then spawn on that screen. Okay. Now, no, you see, the game starts you out there walking off a fucking cliff. That's not nice. Now, once again, the background is fucking moving and there's flashing. It's like an epileptic nightmare. And you gotta try and negotiate these jumps. Which are not easy jumps, as you can see. They're pretty fucking terrible. Fuck! And I didn't hit the button in time and fell off and now I have to do this again. Okay, there we go. Skip that one so I can hit the dog. There we go. Just keep moving. Um, as you can see, like most Castlevania games, jump cancels is how I believe they're generally referred to, of great health. Uh, the thing is that when you're standing, you have to wait for the whip to retract, but when you jump, your landing animation negates that so you don't have to wait, and you can just keep moving. There we go. I baited that bat out. That's what I wanted. So this is greatly helpful because you can essentially hit more often because you can do that. Whereas when you whip, you have to wait, but when you jump and whip, you can just whip, 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 and you can really rapid fire as opposed to what I did right there, which was a lot slower. I forgot about that technique, though, unfortunately, until now. Oh my god, these fucking bats. As you can see, there are, like, those are cheap hits, because they're really hard to avoid. And you have to choose, do I hit the guy with the axe, or do I hit the bat? And generally, now my nose is going to get all upset with me. It's better to hit the bat, and no, I don't want to walk off the edge. This is what I said when, when I said that the game was going to get a lot harder. This was what I meant. Because these platforms are tiny, they move, they look funny. And you just have to keep moving through them. There's no, there's no way around it. And generally you want to time it at the apex of each jump. Although it's better to do that one on the, on the back swing than it is on the forward swing like I did there. And as you can see, we're still in block 6-1. Uh, generally the blocks change numbers. Oh man, that was, that was ballsy jumping that I should not have done. Um, but I did anyway. I'm going to assume that I need to jump onto that. And I can make it, so I will. Uh, when it comes back, though, that's when you do this jump. Oh, fuck! I, 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 you see, I was stupid. That was, that's called being greedy, folks. I went for two jumps and one apex instead of just one jump. Should have just went with the one jump. There we go. Take out both of them. Take out that guy. Keep moving. Jump over the dog. Just let the dog run free. No need to kill a dog senselessly. And I'm probably going to get a game over, but if I could beat stage six, bait out the stupid bat. This is what I mean by a rhythm, where you just start going through the stage and it's like, I know exactly what's coming up. I know how to beat it. I'm going to bait out the bat. Actually, I can whip the axe without bringing the bat out, so then I can focus on the bat. Oh shit, if that had been a fully extended whip, it'd have killed him, but it was a little half-ass whip. That was just instinct for the jumping hit. There we go, get all these. As you can see, sub-weapons aren't always helpful though, because like, sub-weapons are not going to help you in that. And that is, I don't know that that was intentional to make it so that you like walk off a cliff, but they had to have known. 
Like that had to have come up, and I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm not gonna be greedy anymore because it's a bad idea. That's not really greedy. But you you got you have got to be cautious on jumps like this. There's no sense to rush. Like you you just wanna be careful because like I said, there's just no sense in doing a rush double jump that's just gonna kill you. You don't need to botch something at the last second and have it result in your death. Especially after you get so damn far. And what sucks is I, if I don't beat the level on this life, I, I'm gonna essentially have to do all this again. And that's where the, the breaking factor that I mentioned before of Castlevania comes into play. Because you will do jumps like that and then have to redo them and just be like, well, shit, that's just bad. Um, and it's gonna hurt. So you just gotta, you just gotta accept it and say, okay, well, I fucked up. You know, I made a bad jump and it happens. That was nearly a really bad jump. But boom, I made it through. So that's the bright side. <laughs>